the biggest misunderstanding I think, and it's probably the most important one, is where leather comes from. It's really important that people understand that leather is made from hides and skins, which are a byproduct of the meat and dairy industries. Um, the animals they come from are reared for meat, milk, and wool. And the hide and the skin are there, produced when you slaughter the animal, inevitably. However, none of these animals are reared for the hide or skin. Um, so if the leather industry didn't take these materials, we'd have somewhere in the region an estimates between sort of seven to nine million tons a year of waste material that we'd be disposing of. Um, there are alternative uses for them, but none of those would currently absorb all of the material that's produced. People seem to think that animals are reared solely for making leather. Uh, currently, the value of a hide will skip. Well, the value of a hide is somewhere in the region of one to one and a half percent of the total cost of the value of the animal. No one is going to rear an animal for that cost. And with small skins, sheep skins and goat skins, many of these have no value at all. I think that's one of the biggest misunderstandings. It's particularly relevant when you start talking about alternatives to leather. People talk about these being more environmentally friendly because it doesn't involve the animal rearing. You're not going to change anything by moving from leather to another material in that regard. So if people don't want to use animal byproducts, that's fine. That's entirely someone's choice. But if, when companies are producing other materials and claiming as an environmental benefit that they are either improving the welfare of animals, preventing animals from being slaughtered, or reducing the environmental impact of livestock rearing, it's untrue because it won't change a thing.